Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all students. So, today I would like to uh, teach about how to interface uh, the CMTT2 F103 uh, with the two or more switches. So, in the last class, uh, we already covered on how to interface with a single switch. So, we go more further on how to interface the CMTT2 with a uh, two switch. Okay, uh, let's see. The, okay, these are the diagram. Okay, we want to interface STMTT2 F103 uh, with two toggle switches. So this two toggle switches, switch one, and then switch two. Okay, and then we have two LED, LED one and LED two. Okay, switch one is connected to uh, PP0, and switch two is wired to PP2, not PP1, eh, PP. Okay, LED is uh, wired to PA4 and then LED2 is wired to PA5. Okay, and then the other pins that uh, we are not connect uh, to switch like a PP1, PP3, PP4, we just ground it. Okay. And then our switch connection is in uh, active flow connection. That means that uh, when we toggle the switch, Toggle switch is closed, so the signal uh, received at port is low signal, and signal received at this point is a low signal. And then the LED is uh, also the active flow connections, so that means that uh, uh, that means that the low signal will on the LED. So if we, if we uh, send a low signal here, PA4, it will on the LED. LED will be on. If we send a uh, high signal, then LED will be off. Okay, uh, that's uh, about the connections. Now we want to write a program to on or off the LED based on the condition uh, condition uh, show in this truth table. Okay, if the if uh, both uh, toggle switches are closed, it's been zero zero, it's been closed. So LED LED is off. Uh, if toggle switch 1 is open, it's open, like this, this is open, so uh, switch LED 1 will be on, LED 1 will be on. If switch 2 only uh, is open and switch 1 is uh, closed, and then LED 2 will be on. If both switch open, so both LED will be on. Okay, so uh, you write the program. Uh, to fulfill this uh, truth, truth table. Okay, let's uh, start uh, write the program. Okay, the, we write the program uh, step by step. So first we write the header and header and declare the function used in this program. So in this example, uh, write the header include stm 2 f 103 So uh, in this example, we write a delay function uh, to create a delay. Uh, not same as a previous example, we just use a uh, syntax uh, like for i is equal to 0 and i is bigger than, is uh, less than some uh, some amount of number. So in this uh, function, uh, in this uh, example, we use a, a delay function. So the delay function, we name it as a delay ms. Okay? And then we uh, declare our variable. So we have one variable in this program. Uh, called name is uh, name is s s all swiss all s all okay step number two so we need to set the clock for gpio a and gpio b okay uh, because we use port a and port b so we need to set the clock up for gpio a and gpio b so we type rcc rcc app2 and able register is equal to 0x000 C. Okay, I, uh, I will need, uh, I will not elaborate more on this uh, this concept of how to configure the clock. So if you are not clear on how to configure the clock, so you can refer to my last video uh, titled RCC configuration, how to set up uh, the clock for peripherals. Okay, the next step. So there is a uh, step three. So we need to configure the GPIO. GPIO. 
So in this case, we need to configure GPIO A4 and GPIO5. GPIO A5 as a push pull output. Eh? This output because we use uh, LED. LED is output. So we configure GPIO A CRL 0x0003. 0000. And then for GPIO B and GPIO B2 as a floating input. So we write a syntax GPIOP CRL is equal to 0x0000404. This is for GPIOP0. This is for GPIOP2. Okay, for more details about GPIO configurations, so you can refer to my video. I already upload, uh, uploaded about the GPIO configuration. Okay, next step. Okay, we settled about the configuration and uh, now in the main function and in the while loop so we need to write a program uh, to read the switch and then test the condition okay step number four uh, we write a syntax to read the switch so we write uh, as all okay this is uh, our integer as all is equal to gpiop idr and with a zero x zero Five. As all is uh, our variable that we already declare in the step number one. So uh, we end IDR and uh, IDR with a 0 x 0 5 because we only need input from PB0 and uh, PB2. Right? This is PB0 and PB2. PB1, uh, no solution. We just ground. So we need an input from PB0, PB2. Okay, PB0 and PB2. So if we write uh, in the binary, so we should come 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 is equal to uh, 0, 5 in hexa. This is a bit 0 and this is bit 2. So we just need to monitor these two bit, bit 0 and bit 2. Okay. If, uh, if uh, we use a B0 and B1, and for example, uh, if we have another example, and then the switch is connected to PB1 and PB0. So we monitor, uh, we end IDR with 0, 3, and because 1, 1, 0, 3. If you use a 3 uh, switch, for example, switch 1, switch 2, and switch 3, connect to PB0, PB1, and PB3. So we end IDR, IDR, and with 0, 7 because it's 1 1 1 so we want to monitor these three uh, switch okay for our example we just on uh, use two switch switch 1 and switch 2 and then switch 1 is connected to pp0 switch 2 is connected to pp2 so we end idr with 0 5 okay Okay, after uh, we continue uh, to the step 5, we need to, to test the input condition and display the result based on our testing condition. So this is the condition and based on this uh, true stable. So we have four conditions, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Okay, for our first condition, and this is our first condition, all the Swiss are in a closed position. And 0 and 0. So that means the signal in PB0 and the signal in PB0 uh, in, P, in, PB, in B0 and B2 are low condition eh? because we just close this close so the signal is uh, 0 0. So we write if as all is our in, uh, variable as all is equal to 0 x 0 0 and because all bits are 0 here and 0 0 0 0 all bits are 0 so uh, refer to this diagram this figure so if uh, uh, if all the switch is 0 so if this condition is true so we will do this syntax that is to off both uh, LED so we write GPIO A ODR 
zero x is equal to zero x zero zero three zero three zero because both LED is off and to off both LED so we need to send here one one so PA four and PA five one so or in hexa is become zero x three zero so we just send data PIO A OTR is equal to uh, three zero so we'll hide the uh, the pin in PA4 and PA5 so both LED will be off so this is the first condition so the second condition is uh, 0, 1. 0, 1. so we use uh, the else else if okay we use syntax L if if the condition 1 is not true then it will test the condition 2 so in this case it will test uh, whether the switch 1 is open or not is it this one is open or not so when the switch 1 is open and switch 2 is closed so the signal at the port B uh, so this switch 1 is open and then switch 2 is closed so the signal are 0 1 and 0 1 this is not 0 0 eh? it's 0 1 so it's 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 so here it changed to 0 1 and then uh, we have else if s all is equal to 0 1 and s1 and then the condition if this uh, uh, test is true the condition is uh, LED 2 off LED 1 on so GPI OA or DR 0x 0, 0, 0, 2, 0 this means LED 1 on LED 2 off this means 0 1 0 1 okay the signal is 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 or in hexa is 2 0 so we send a 2 0 to LED Point A. Okay, this is a second condition. And then, if not true, so we go to the third condition and one zero. So the third condition is one zero. This means as uh, Swiss one is closed, Swiss one is closed, Swiss two is open. Swiss two is open. So else if as all is equal, so this is equal a uh, double uh, equal. Uh, yeah. So it's equal to zero four. It's equal to zero four. So you do GPIO A O D R zero X zero zero one zero. So this is two on LED two on and LED one off. LED one off. So this is uh, zero one. So LED two on LED one off. Okay. If these three condition is not true, so last step. And last step is uh, to uh, fourth condition. Okay, for the last condition, so uh, last condition, so the step uh, number four, so refer to these two tables. It means that uh, Swiss two is open and then Swiss one is uh, open. And so Swiss one is open. So because this is a last condition, so uh, we just use else, not else if. And because it is uh, the last condition, so you use else, else, uh, so GPIOA ODR is equal to 0, 0. This means both LED is on eh? 0, 0. So we send here 0, 2.A4 and A5, so LED will be on. Okay, you can write all this uh, syntax in the microvision and then compile it. After that, uh, try to run in Proteus simulations. Okay, uh, that's all for today. See you again in the next class. Uh, thank you.